Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Yourself, man. The former leader of the far-right English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, faces jail after being found guilty of contempt of court. Robinson, whose real name is Stephen Yaxley Lennon, was convicted of filming defendants in a child sexual exploitation trial and broadcasting the footage on social media in breach of a reporting ban on the case. Our special correspondent Lucy Manning reports. The news that Stephen Yaxley Lennon had been found in contempt of court did not go down well with his supporters outside the Old Bailey. Some surged at the police, missiles thrown, batons raised. It had been calmer in court where the man, also known as Tommy Robinson, just shook his head as the judge said he had interfered with the justice process. How are you feeling about your verdict? How are you feeling about your verdict? What verdict? How are you feeling about the verdict? It was this controversial broadcast live on social media last year that meant he had broken strict rules about what can be reported about court cases. Doesn't seem like much guilt. He'd filmed and confronted defendants accused of sexual exploitation of girls outside Leeds Crown Court. It was viewed more than a quarter of a million times. The judge said Mr Yaxley Lennon's behaviour aggressively confronting some of the defendants, live streaming from outside Leeds Crown Court and breaking reporting restrictions was a serious interference with the administration of justice. Leaving the courtroom, Mr Yaxley Lennon claimed, I've been convicted for who I am, not what I've done. You've now been found in contempt of court. You lost your chance to be you an MP. Do you think the you myth of you, Tommy you, Robinson you, has you, just been burst you, now? You don't care, do you? You don't care that, you, that people's freedoms have been taken away. You don't care that the, the judicial system has just prosecuted someone because of who they are, not what they've done. You don't care, do you? You're a journalist. Do you not care about people's freedoms to report? You don't care. You're meant to be a journalist. Now, look, do, do, you, do, you, think, court, do you think you're going back to prison? I, I know I'm going back to prison. Last May, Mr Yaxley Lennon was sent to jail for 13 months, but released after just two because it was found the decision had been rushed. He will now be sentenced again and could return to prison. Lucy Manning, BBC News. Now, the former leader of the English Defence League, Stephen Yaxley Lennon, who calls himself Tommy Robinson, has been found guilty of contempt of court. In May last year, he broke reporting restrictions which prevented details of the trial of a sexual grooming gang being made public. There were some angry scenes outside the Old Bailey after today's verdict. Brooke O'Brien was there. For Stephen Yaxley Lennon and his supporters, today was about free speech and spectacle. But inside court two at the Old Bailey, it was, as always, about a judge trying to determine whether someone had broken the law or not. The verdict has um, just come in, and Tommy Robinson, uh, Stephen Yaxley Lennon, has been found guilty of contempt. News is filtering through to the crowd, and the reaction quite hostile. Lots of it directed at the media, lots of it directed at the courts. The case against Yaxley Lennon centres around this footage. So I'm at, Lee, I'm at Leeds Crown Court where these men here... He live-streamed exchanges with defendants during a sexual grooming gang trial in Leeds last year. The case was the subject of blanket reporting restrictions at the time. How are you feeling about the verdict? You got your prison bag, are you? According to the judge today, the broadcast, which had a quarter of a million views, risked derailing the case and amounted to, quote, serious interference with the administration of justice. Contempt of court laws exist to ensure the integrity of court proceedings and to make sure juries are not unduly influenced by matters outside of proceedings at court. You broke the law and you got done for it, huh? You say I, you say I broke the law. Yeah, but if I you had done you, what you would have you done, say I would be, I'd have been done for it as well. You said I broke the law. The law says, yeah? But, but a judge decided you broke the, the law. The law says. No, no, they said the law's a mistake on their own website. No, no, a judge decided yeah, yeah, you broke the law. Come and throw, come and throw, come and throw. In May 2017, Yaxley Leonard admitted to being in contempt of court after broadcasting from outside a rape trial in Canterbury. He was given a suspended sentence and told if he broke the law again, he'd go to prison. 
a year later, he fell foul of contempt of court law again after another broadcast outside a grooming case at Leeds Crown Court. He was initially jailed for 13 months, but in August last year was freed on appeal because of a procedural failing in the case. Then fast forward to March this year, the Attorney General announced that there were strong grounds to bring new proceedings. And then, two months ago, High Court judges gave permission for proceedings to go ahead, which bring us to the hearings which concluded today. Stephen Yaxley Lennon will be sentenced next week. That level of detail matters because despite the circus here, this is actually a story about procedure, a story about the administration of justice, a story about the rules and what happens to you if you break them. And if you are like Yaxley Lennon, the self-proclaimed guardian of English culture, even you have to admit there is nothing more English than that.